thank you so much for staying tuned for part two. And just like what I've mentioned last week, while well, last week marked my sixth month in Native Camp, that's why I decided to make an honest review about the pros and cons of being a part of this company. Overall, I can say that I'm madly in love with the company and I'm so proud to be with Native Camp. But again, to avoid bias, um, I'm going to cover both pros and cons. And again, the goal of this video is to educate aspiring teachers who would like to be a Native Camp teacher before that before you get yourselves into this company, you got to know what you're get, getting yourselves into. And on this video, we're going to cover the next three categories, which would be the tools and training, the students or the booking rate, and lastly would be the tutor support. And this is definitely a must watch because at least you're going to be able to learn both sides, right? The pros and cons of being a native camp teacher. To those of you who would still want to apply here, despite knowing about the cons, because again, every company has cons, um, you could send me an email at askteacherkaren at gmail.com. I'm going to send you tried and tested tips to pass. And for my future students all over the world, my future private class students, all you got to do is send me an email or get in touch through WeChat or Line. My contact information are on the description box. So let's get started. Category number four, tools and training. So what I love about Native Camp is that we only use one tool and it's a web-based tool. It's not a tool that will <laughs> kill your computer. It's not a tool that will drain the life out of your computer. Unlike other ESL companies, you have to use, let's say, Classin, you have to use Zoom, you have to pull up this tool, that tool, slowing down your computer. And what if you're not using a high-end work computer? It'll really be slow. But in Native Camp, we only have one tool and it's a web-based tool. And that's a Native Camp website, which is very easy to navigate. Um, uh, what I like about this tool is that everything is there. The book, uh, the chat box, and everything that you need to run the class is there. Uh, in terms of training, they do provide all the self-study or self-learning materials that you need. Uh, they have videos, they have uh, workbook content, and so on. Um, and basically, all you just have to do is log into the website and study on your own. And th that's it. Now, um, what would be the cons of the tools and the training? For the tools, well, this, this doesn't really happen uh, often in Native Camp, and I think this was the first time it happened in a very long time. But recently we had a DDoS attack, so that's like when someone messes up with the Native Camp website. So a lot of teachers cannot log in. We cannot, we couldn't teach for like a few days, and it prevented teachers from working and from earning money. But um, what Native Camp did there, which I totally love, was that even though, yeah, we weren't able to take classes or our classes were messed up because we couldn't access the website, they removed the penalties. I didn't get a single penalty out of the, the downtime, even though, like, it took, like, three days, four days. Like, it was... It impacted my salary by around four or five days. So all the deductions have been removed. I was not penalized for anything. I didn't have to beg for my money back, unlike, again, other ESL companies. Now, for the training, um, the cons that I'd, I'd say about the training is that maybe it would be better if there would be times when there's an actual... Uh, online training with an actual trainer instead of it being just a recorded content because you know when when you're learning something it's better if you could uh, ask questions clarify and so on although um, you know um, when it comes to the training materials you have available I do believe that they're enough it's just that in my opinion it's better if there's also face-to-face um, -face online training 
Am I making sense, right? So that you could also raise your questions and your concerns. Other than that, um, the tools and the training are still uh, are still uh, quite reliable and efficient, in my opinion. Category number five: students and classes. So before sharing the pros and cons, let me share with you that here at Native Camp we have two types of classes. We have a sudden class wherein you just have to go on standby. You have to put on your headset and wait for a student to book your class anytime. Like when you're on standby mode, a student can book your class anytime, like literally anytime. It could be immediately. It could be a few seconds from now. It could be a few minutes from now. Now, you're going to be paid there by the minute. Your hourly rate will be prorated per minute. Um, and uh, the thing there is, uh, the salary is only 55 pesos per 25-minute class. So that's 110 pesos per, per hour if you're just going to take the sudden class. I'm not sure if it's a pro or a con because... I don't really take sudden classes because I'm always fully booked. Um, the second type of class would be a book class. A book class is when you open your slots and then because that student likes you, likes your style, that student wants to learn from you, they're willing to pay more, more coins. We call it native camp coins. They're willing to pay more just to have a class, a book class with you. And this is when the teacher earns 80 pesos to 104 pesos per per 25 minute class. That's 160 to 208 pesos per hour for a booked class. So those are the two types of students and classes that we have, a sudden student and a book student. Now, what would be the pros and cons? For the pros, here at Native Camp, we have an overflowing number of students. Yes, uh, for the teachers who have been with this company for a long time, you probably already know that even though there's an overflowing number of students, if they don't like you, if you're not appealing to them, if they think you are not good enough for their standards, unfortunately, no one's going to book you, sadly. Maybe that's a con that um, even though there are thousands of students here, even though uh, we still need teachers, no one's going to book your class. If you do not, you know, put your best foot forward and really market yourself as a reliable, credible, and fun teacher. So. Um, in terms of the students, you will always have students as long as you do your part. Maybe it's like a pro and a con at the same time because I've already shared so many videos about how to be fully booked here in Native Camp, how to attract more students, how to get good star ratings. Because the thing is, here in this company, again, maybe this is a con already, if you have low star reviews, if your self-introduction video is not impressive and if your past students have had just okay or bad experience in your class, then no one's going to book your class. And that's when you will experience the ultimate con wherein you are on standby and you've already been waiting for a few hours yet nobody is booking you. Low booking rates um, happen or the low booking rate issue happens to teachers who students think are, you know, not good enough. I, I know it, it hurts, right? Aww. But but let's be realistic here. Why would people pay for for a mediocre teacher? Why would people pay um, a teacher who doesn't seem to be interested or enthusiastic. Why would a student pay for a teacher who isn't passionate, right? So here in Native Camp, um, we don't really get like a steady number of students. You determine your success here. If you do good and really make your students feel that you are doing this with love, you're a passionate teacher and you truly care for them, then you will be fully booked regardless if it's a sudden class or a book class. But if you just do this job for the money, you are half hearted, you don't really exert too much effort. Yes, you will 
experience the ultimate con, which is low booking rate, despite the overflowing number of students that we have here. Now, another pro that I'd like to share with you is that our students are from Japan and Taiwan, and I, I like their culture. I also like their behavior. Um, I've already taught students all over the world, and in my opinion, Taiwanese students are the kindest and most polite students in the world. Uh, Japanese students as well are respectful and courteous, but for some reason, like 95% or maybe 98% of my students are from Taiwan. <laughs> and I just really love Taiwan. So um, here in Native Camp, a pro would be you're not gonna encounter, you know, uh, like a regular, you're not going to have like a regular influx of rude students. Yeah, from time to time, you're going to encounter rude students, but it's not as common as other ESL companies. And lastly, tutor support. So speaking of tutor support, uh, what I like about Native Camp is that we don't have a boss. So we are our own boss. We do not have to wait for our boss to approve our schedule. You could just open or close schedules, cancel classes at your own uh, uh, convenience. Uh, you do not have to ask permission if you wanna take a day off. You do not need to ask permission if you need to take a leave. Um, basically, again, you're the boss. And that's what I like because as an introvert and as a person who's a natural leader, sometimes it upsets me when someone is bossing me around when I don't need to be bossed around. I don't want people breathing down my neck unlike my previous ESL company where I have my boss checking my performance every single day, pressuring me every single day. So I don't need that kind of pressure from this part-time job. Uh, so uh, that's what I, I love about the tutor support here. Uh, the tools are provided. There's like a chat bot where you have to chat uh, an automated system. If you have any questions, you would have to send an email to Native Camp if you need help or if you have problems with the system or your class or your salary. Um, basically, everything is already provided. All you just have to do is use the tools that are available on the Native Camp portal. Now, what would be the con of this? Well, in terms of tutor support, because you don't have a supervisor and you don't really have a person you could speak with if you have like an emergency or a sudden problem with your class, sometimes the results of your, of your, uh, rather, sometimes um this actually becomes a disadvantage for the teachers because let's say you got a complaint sometimes it becomes one-sided it becomes biased favoring the student let's say the student uh complained that you were rude on this class and sometimes the the company would just take the student's side um and there's actually no way of reviewing your class because the classes here are not recorded. So they're just gonna take the student's word for it. Or let's say the student had internet issues and uh, you had a, a perfect internet connection and the student gave you a low star review because of unstable connection. But the problem is actually on their end. Still, you're gonna get this low star review and it would be quite challenging to dispute that. Though you could send an email to have the low star rating removed. Um, another disadvantage, let's say, is the disconnection cancellation. Say, for example, sometimes the, the website glitches. Even though you have a high-speed internet connection and there's like a disconnection notice, like you got disconnected from the website because of issues with the website, your, your no cancellation bonus, which is 550 pesos, will just all of a sudden disappear. You won't get that bonus anymore. Even though the problem is quite unclear, 
if it's your fault or the system's fault or was it just like a glitch or something. So maybe that could be the con that I would share in terms of tutor support that sometimes it kind of gets, you know, one-sided, either favoring native camp or favoring, favoring the student. Because maybe if there's anything that I would suggest native camp would do, it's better if we could chat with a real person. It's better if if all our classes are recorded so that there will be proof just in case we got a complaint just in case we got a disconnection notice so that you know uh, everything would go through the due process and everything will be just and fair makes sense so um, other than that um, there's nothing more that I could say in terms of tutor support because overall Overall, in my six months in Native Camp, I have been so happy. I've been so contented to be a part of this company. And I wouldn't rant about this job or this company uh, with my husband. No need to vent my feelings because... Really, uh, all I've been receiving from Native Camp would be positive feelings. Yeah, sometimes the cons upset me. I'm just human. But then again, the, the pros outweigh the cons. That's why I, I, I always say that this is my beloved company. I love Native Camp despite the cons. Despite the negative feedback that other teachers are giving this company, despite the negative experience that other teachers get from this company, I just choose to shut my ears and just, you know, base everything based my feelings and my thoughts about native camp on my experience i don't let other people's experience affect how i see this company that's why i come to work every day with a smile you know um even though i've had a stressful pregnancy a high-risk pregnancy that i go in and out the hospital for check checkups and so on i come to work with a smile and Teaching has actually become my stress reliever instead of my stressor. So overall, after giving this honest review about this company, I highly recommend Native Camp. This is one of the best ESL companies in my opinion, and I highly recommend that you become a part of it. So teacher, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, teacher Karen, and comment below if you have violent reactions, comments, or questions about Native Camp or anything related to ESL. And um, once again, if you want to be a part of this company, just send me an email at askteacherkaren at gmail.com. Be a blessing to the people around you, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.